Right, so this is the result and review of my first proper long drive competition. Firstly, I get straight into the results. So I got to the quarters, was knocked out by Joe Miller. Joe Miller is, you know, world champion a couple of times. He's kind of dominated the sport for years. So I'm just really happy to get where I've got. Um, and firstly, just to qualify for the event and to get through to the quarters, got through to the live show, which is going to be on Sky Sports, literally over the moon. While I um, talk through this video, talk through the event, and kind of talk through the prep, I'm just going to put the messages that I received on the morning. So I put a video the night before saying I've qualified, and I'm like overwhelmed with the amount of people that commented just really positive comments so i'm just going to run these long now i didn't respond usually i respond to every single comment if i can um but i just want to play these whilst this video goes on because i was a bit overwhelmed with the uh the support so how i got there from the start so i started this channel again five months ago with a thoughts of basically prepping up to this event um, so the long drive series that I've run over the time being is be called Long Drive Journey and it's documented every part of my training or as much as I can leading up to this first event. I've tried to really focus on this long drive for the entire time. I had a small little gap in the prep while I was doing the open qualifying which wasn't the best result which was a reason that I didn't feel that confident going into this event as I said a couple nights ago I wasn't really 100% confident and the prep wasn't how I wanted to go it kind of sounded like excuses but that's just how I felt so the show itself was well I've never competed on TV in front of like a fairly big crowd it wasn't massive but there was a fair few people there um, it was great from the start kind of got there on the Friday got through qualifying then went into Saturday we did um, we basically hit six balls sorry eight balls to get seeded and then I got through my first round and it was a guy called Tyler who I didn't expect to get through against as he hit some really big ones in in practice and in the seeds uh, he didn't hit his best and I hit a decent one down there so I ended up getting to the live show and the live show, I mean, we were like, just before we went out onto the, uh, out onto the stage, it was second match on against Joe. So we had to kind of like walk around the board, walk up there with the music going, the crowds, obviously the cameras following us up. So that was an experience in itself. And I'm kind of looking forward to seeing that on Sky in a few weeks time. It means like quite, quite a lot. I wouldn't say quite a lot. It means a lot. The, the result that I've got. Now I didn't go for and win, I only got to the quarters after all, but I did get knocked out by the, the strongest guy in the field. Um, I kind of had second thoughts as I was prepping for this as to whether I should continue, which is ridiculous really. I mean, I'm five months into competing in, well, prepping for long drive. Um, for some reason, like confidence took a bit of a hit, which is what I probably suffered with a bit. Um, so to to get there meant a lot and I'll probably take a lot through that from that now going forward. And it takes us forward to future long drive events. So I'm not really sure what's gonna go on with the uh World Series of Long Drive, the um tour that obviously was in the UK a couple of days ago. Uh but they've got a few more events across the world now, but there's also other long drive events. There's one in Germany in August, which I'm thinking of doing and through the end of the year there is a couple more that I want to get involved with so the plan the, the plan the plan now is to really push forward um this has given me some hope that you know I've got a chance I'm still miles away from where I need to be to actually get to a decent level um but every guy I get went up against pretty much they are you know they're big guys they're strong guys I've got a lot of work to do in the gym now I want to put on, I'm not going to say like a specific weight, but I was pushing like 95 to 100 kilos before when I was training a lot doing kind of like men's physique. I've lost so much weight, I'm down to like 91. So now I'm going to push forward with the gym. I'll go into that as I go through the long drive vlogs going forward, but I'm going to put on some weight, some strength, get more flexible, work on my technique. There's a lot of scope to be had, which now is hopeful. So, 
that's kind of where the future is going to go. It's going to go into more long drive vlogs and also the other videos that are going to be on the side, just like the entertaining ones. Thank you to all of the subscribers that have subscribed since I've posted the, the last couple of videos. I've kind of had a big jump, so thanks for tuning in. I look forward to bringing you a lot more um, in terms of long drive and just general golf as well, some travel, these competitions. So I'm really looking forward to the future now. Thanks for watching. And I will be back in a few days with some more videos, some more long drive prep. And I'm gonna try and get out and do a couple of the fun ones as well. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you soon.